Hello, my name is Eugene Kuzminov. I developed web applications for about seven years here at MobiDev. I've worked at almost all key positions in software development process, engineer, architect, project manager. Therefore, I want to share my experience and advices with you. Product owners can understand what they can miss in team management aspect and product visibility. Developers can find what could be improved in their development process. The meaning of life is an evolution. I'll stress it. Product always change. That's an axiom. Most of them start as a bright idea with a small local group of developers. The idea grows. It receives initial implementation. Then at some point of time, you see the next big thing. Your current technology doesn't satisfy your needs. And further development requires more and more work. And it gets out of the control. And I want your product to survive that evolution storm. Let's face these three main evolution blockers. You want to change your technology, you want still to maintain your development velocity, and the faster and bigger it goes, you still want to sleep well at nights. Logical steps to manage this issue is to expand your team, but it is very hard to find high-skilled local developers. That's why a lot of companies decide to outsource, to invite to remote teams. But it is very hard to maintain your work the same way as it was before with a remote team, and you need to establish brand new working process. And of course, you can't do it good without the great tools and techniques. I would start with the main crucial part of this triad, the team. As Guru characterizes people as the main non-liner first-order component of the software development, I completely agree with him. To make any changes, first of all, you need to understand what is wrong right now and what you want to achieve. Set clear goals. Think about what, but not how you want to change. How you will decide with your team. For example, when you are thinking about new technologies, think what can they give you, but not how cool is it to use them. Leave your product. A lot of team management aspects are guided by the project manager. Usually it is a person on the remote team side. But as a product owner, you should be always a part of your team, even if you are not a technical guy. And another edge case. When the product owner expects that the team, with an expertise in their subject matter, will exactly know all the details of the product you want to build. No, they won't, because each product is unique. Tell your team about your specific cases. If it is e-commerce, explain your team all the insights of your work, like accounting, logistics and discounts. Do you want an advice? How to get team motivation for free? Just be honest with them about project goals and current steps. In such case, development team feels like a part of your business. It feels the responsibility for your product. There is a crucial aspect while working with remote and the local team together. It is their productivity. It depends on their internal relations. Sooner or later, one team will start thinking bad things about another team. And you will hear the problem is not on our side more often. You should keep an eye on this and try to resolve this misunderstanding. It will not solve itself without a facilitator. One more positive effect of frankness is brainstorm. By thinking aloud in collaboration with your team, you can get in new fresh ideas that you wouldn't come up with on your own. Or you can see your product from a new unexpected angle. As a result, you should get trustful relations with your team. It is not only important for the product owners to trust their teams, but also for the teams to respect and believe in the mutual decisions. Now, as we have finished with the team, let's proceed with the evolution, the process, the way your product changes. Let's take a look on an interesting case study. An existing product was made on the Pars.com platform. It was considered as a good way to start an MVP six months ago. But as you might know, Pars.com is announced to be shut down. That's why the product should be remade or migrated to the another platform. At this point, we also see that some feature requests couldn't be implemented on Pars platform. That's why it was decided to change technology and use Ruby. Initial team had great domain knowledge, but very low Ruby experience, and was expanded with a remote Ruby team. So, how the product 2.0 was delivered? You could suppose that the best way is to take all knowledge together, re-implement everything in Ruby with the help of the remote team, add new features, re-implement some existing features and change design for better. Why not? It is faster and cheaper. But do you know what you will get? I don't. People do not like changes. By changing too much at a time, you can lose. 
Are you ready to make such a high bet? I propose you to reconsider. Start from the reimplementation of existing functionality exactly as it was from the end user's point of view. Your existing product can still get some updates and enhancements, but at some point of time you need to freeze all the development of your old product. Finish reimplementation on the new platform and make a great launch of your new product. Ta-da! And you know what? Your end users shouldn't notice anything. That's a great success. No hate tweets. Only after that, and enhancements and new features, one by one. The biggest advantage of that is that you can roll them back one by one, because some features might have dramatically unexpected effect on user experience and system performance. As you can see, even while talking about process, we were discussing the human factor. You can't do it without people, but people can't do anything without tools. And the most important are communication tools, especially in a distributed team, when you can't just go and talk to someone in person, you need a shared messenger. There are a lot of them, and you can choose the one you like. But the main rules are, everyone should use the same communication mean. As much information as possible should appear in shared chats, not in private. And at least once a week you should do a general voice calls. Communication is great, but do not rely on people too much. I'll stress it one more time. Do not rely on sacred knowledge of one person. Automate or document a walkthrough guide for all routine operations. You will need a whole bunch of automation tools and services. All those things will increase product development visibility. That's it. We have talked about three keys to maintain software product evolution. Team, process and tools. And we have learned that team is the main engine for product evolution, but it requires care, clear process, efficient tools and a coffee machine. Go for it. Bring your product to success. You can do it today. You can do it right now. Thank you for your attention. Stay tuned with MobyDev.